protecting pots from winter frost damage. So there are a few things that you can do to minimise frost damage to the roots of your plants in pots. One of them is to give a really thick mulch on the surface. So, so what I've done here, we've chipped it back. Some plants don't like this right near the base of the trunk or stems of the plant, but bamboos are fine. You might want to keep an inch or so gap away from the trunks of palms, etc. so that rot doesn't set in. Bamboos are fine. Another thing you can do is insulate the pots with bubble wrap around the side of the pots. It doesn't look pretty, but it should stop frost penetrating too far into the pot. Another thing you could do is when you plant in the plants, insulate the inside of the pot with bubble wrap so it doesn't look so awkward in the winter as it does here with the wrapping around it. But either way it should still protect the plants from frost. On smaller pots like on this bamboo, I'll give it a double wrap of bubble wrap for extra insulation. That's a smaller volume of soil freezes quicker so this extra insulation should hopefully prevent that and it's still got the very thick mulch about three or four inches around the stems of the bamboo regarding positioning of pots all mine have been dragged to a south or southeast facing aspect against the house walls they get warm from the the bricks in the house through the night and the morning and then in the early morning, in the daytime, they'll get the sun's rays warming up the pots, melting any frost that's there, and preventing pots freezing all the way through. It may be mid December, had a couple of frosts, but these gazanias are still flowering really well, showing no damage to the frost whatsoever. And plenty of new buds waiting to emerge if we get any nice sunny warm days. Another thing you can do with your pots is raise them off the ground as I've done here with this very large pot of Jackicarpus palm to put two or three bricks underneath this raises it above the ground so frost penetrating in and also it allows air to move under it which will be warmer than the ground and it allows the plant to drain well in a wet winter as well through the drainage holes at the bottom. This is what can happen to completely hardy plants if you don't protect it in winter. If it's grown in a pot, even in a very large pot like this, it can completely freeze through, stopping water getting to the roots of the plant and therefore drying it out. This is what it was quite a nice Chucky Carpus palm, completely dead, completely rotten away from last winter's cold. We don't want that again. And this is a completely hardy bamboo, black bamboo, as you can see. Again, it froze through last winter in this pot as it had no protection. I show no sign of life. Oh, yeah, completely dead. And we don't want that to happen again to the bamboos, so that's why they've been protected and put in a much warmer aspect. A little update on the Trachycarpus fortunae palm that I dug up in September. I've insulated the large pot with several layers of bubble wrap. Put a good thick mulch around, but not touching the base of the trunk. And hopefully it'll start recovering from its whole deal of being dug up in spring it'll continue to grow as it's such a great great big palm which hopefully will transplant into a new garden very soon well this is a crown of the plant and since September since it's been dug up it has produced a few more spears that have grown a little bit so hopefully these will open in spring Fingers crossed.